knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? What? If you don't have a joke ready, why start one? You're slipping real. My bad. So, how are you doing? Pretty good, all things considered. Almost feel like something of a blank slate. What? Almost like the crash gave me a new lease on life. I feel like walking away from it kind of reset things. Like I can start over. A phoenix rising from the ashes. Reagan. I know. That's not what you meant when you asked. You're concerned about the concussion. Well, never fear. I don't care what that old doctor said. Letting me sleep was absolutely the right thing to do. My head's fine. Yeah. Didn't know what he was talking about, that one. Hopefully he's not the one taking care of mom and dad. He's not. Good. At least he let you bring me home. He was pretty quackish beyond that. Nobody's perfect. Speaking of mom and dad, what time are we going to the hospital? Reagan, we need to talk. That's kind of what we're doing, Rill. Pay attention. I thought I was the concussed one here. Reagan, listen. Why are you using that tone? You know why. No. No, I don't. What's going on, Rill? What exactly do you remember about the accident? Not much. So much of it's a blur. I remember mom and dad calling out to me, trying to get me out of the seat. I was stuck. According to witnesses, that was after the first car hit you. The first? Yeah. How many cars hit us? In total, there were three. How are mom and dad real? They didn't make it, Reagan. This is all my fault. No, it's not. Not at all. <laughs> if I hadn't snuck out and gone to Cordelia's... Don't do this. They wouldn't have had to come and get me. It's not your fault. It was an accident. Blame the icy roads and the fog. Not yourself. <laughs> Can't believe they're gone. I know. What? What are we going to do? Don't worry about it. I've already gotten it taken care of. Taken care of? Yeah. How can you be so calm about all this? What's wrong with you? What? Our parents are dead and you're acting like you don't even care. Of course I care. You could have fooled me. You're acting so cold. Have you even cried? More than you know. Well, don't hold back on my account. I'm not, Reagan. It's not like that. Then what's it like? I know they had their faults, but they eventually accepted you for who you are. They love you no matter what, Rill. I know that, Reagan. It has nothing whatsoever to do with that. I know they could have been more supportive, but shit happens. They were our family. I said it has nothing to do with me being gay. I loved them. Fights, faults, and all. Believe me, I felt the weight of their death every bit as much as you are. Felt? Feel. That's a pretty telling slip, sis. You're not fucking Freud, sis. Look, I know you're the older one and I'm your responsibility now. 
but you don't have to be strong for me. It's okay to grieve and mourn their loss. I know that, Reagan. Then let it out, Rill. Grieve with me. I have, Reagan. Bullshit. You can't have gotten over losing our parents in a night, Rill. It doesn't work like that, no matter what you now have on your plate. We can be here for each other. I appreciate it, Reagan. But you go ahead and feel whatever you need to. I'll be fine. You can't let this shut you down, Rill. Don't let this break you. Well, losing mom and dad didn't break me. But something did. Truth? Truth. It's this. This is what broke me, Reagan. What are you talking about? This isn't the first time we've had this conversation, Reagan. What? What do you mean? To you? The accident was yesterday. Same for you, Rill. That's how time works. Not exactly. Not anymore. What the hell are you talking about? It's been two years since the crash. Since Mom and Dad died. But that's... That's not possible. It's a form of anterograde amnesia. Doctors aren't entirely sure what caused it, but... Ever since the accident, you haven't been able to make new memories. Every night when you go to sleep, your memory resets back to the night of the accident. You forget about everything. You forget about mom and dad, the funeral, everything. So for the last two years... We live and lose each day at a time. You've had to relive the morning after the accident through me? No. No, it's not like that, really. No wonder it's broken you. It hasn't been the easiest two years. At least let me be here for you now while I can. It's okay. You have been. I cried enough for mom and dad. What breaks my heart now is having to see you go through this every day like it's the first time. Did the doctors think it'll ever correct itself? There's no telling. But the longer it persists, the less likely it is. So what do we do? We've done all we can. Figures. You're pretty dogged when it comes to things like that. I just wish there was more I could do. Nonsense. Let's just put this behind us now and focus on today. Let's make it the best day ever. What do you want to do? It's up to you, Reagan. It always is. Well, maybe we'll make today so memorable that there's no way I'll be able to forget it. <laughs> maybe we will. Maybe we will. So